Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So I was so excited over doing the lampshade, the steel lampshade, that I decided to do another steel lampshade. Um, my daughter and I went to a beautiful antique store about probably eight or nine years ago and she picked out this gorgeous lamp and I never have done a shade for it. So I'm going to do this one. And I have beads that are nine inches long that are all white. And that lamp is a pale, pale blue. So I'm going to try using pearl white folk art, amethyst pearl folk art, and that sky color in blue, and see how it goes. I don't want a whole lot of the purple. I just want, hopefully, mostly actually white with some blue and some purple lines in it, so I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. So in case I didn't show you on the last video, this is how this is shaped. Hope you all can see it. Um, and the beads hanging off the bottom of it just looks gorgeous when you get one made. And so hopefully you saw the last video, but if you didn't, you can go find it. So I'm gonna layer white. Small amount of blue. I'm gonna go with some more white. Small amount of this amethyst. Ooh, I think I got a little too much purple that time. I'm just gonna go until I run out of white. I did have a lot more of it than I did of the others. So, I think I'm about finished here. I had these all about the same consistency, I don't know if you can see, but it's running pretty good. I'm always terrified, actually, the reason I worry about being too thin. I'm just afraid I'll get it so thin that it won't cover good. So, here we go again. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Too much purple. Messed up. Uh-oh, the white's blurring out. This crazy uneven table of mine. Oh me, I hope I have enough paint. Hope I had enough paint. Oh man, I have a blop. Forgot to tell you, this had been 
This was raw steel that had been bead blasted, um, sandblasted in other words, but using glass beads instead of sand. That messed that up. Mm. Oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful over here. Whew. Come on, run on down a little bit. There's areas that are covered. There's areas that aren't. Oh, nervous, nervous, nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. Oh, that white pearl is so gorgeous. Tilt it where I need it tilted. This side over here is covered. So I'm gonna tilt it down like that. I know this is boring. I'll have to speed this part up. Oh, I wish I'd have used more paint. Tilt it over, Wanda. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is so glorious. I mean, absolutely, it's beyond gorgeous. It is glorious. This color's right in here. Oh my goodness. When I, where I took the white more in there, on this side over here, it's not quite as pretty, but whew, you'll see it. And there's a cute little swirl right in the top of it. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to do a dozen of these. I'm gonna have to get more made. <laughs> and do a bunch of them. Oh my goodness. This color combo could not have been better. I, I'm not bragging on myself at all. I'm just, thank God I stumbled on this idea. You know what I mean? Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't believe this. I just purely do not believe this. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Huh. Thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Oh my. Okay, I'm going to take the camera down and show you all what I'm seeing. So hang with me for a second. Okie dokie, here it is. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, my shadow's on it. Oh my goodness. It is so gorgeous. Look at that. Just wonderful. You know, it looks like a cloudy sky or clouds in the sky. No wonder that paint's name is sky it is so gorgeous 
Oh my goodness. Look at that. And actually it looks even paler in person than it does in the camera. But, and look at this little swirl. A little swirl on top right there. So cute. Oh my goodness. I'm so over the moon. Oh my goodness. I'm just over the moon. This is so beautiful. I hope it dries well. Whew, since it's metallics, maybe it won't even need to be varnished, but if it is, I'll have to get a really gloss varnish because it looks gorgeous. Wet. So, that's how it turned out. So, I may have to... I think the next time, though, if I get more made, I'm going to have that part right there on the top cut down. I'm going to have that die cut down about a quarter of an inch or three-sixteenths of an inch so it'll be a little broader across the top and a little less peaked. See the profile of it? You can't see all that crap in the background, but see the profile? And I just want it to be a little bigger across the top and a little more subtle the way it swoops down. But oh my goodness, how could you be so, how could you be unhappy with this? I mean, oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching. You never know what I'm going to do. So I come, I invite you to come back and watch me again. Because, you know, I might actually just pour a horse or something. You just never know with me. But thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I just wanted to show you all what happened to my beautiful shade. This was steel. This was not aluminum. It had a little speck of rust. I saw that about 15 or 20 minutes after I poured it. So, at the time, this also had run down. It was kind of like a blob, so I kind of took my stick and tried to spread that out a little bit, and then I picked up some more paint and put it on top of the rust spot and tried to camouflage it. You can see how it had more purple and it kind of ran down, but that rust came through anyway. So I'm going to have to figure out how to put something on this to seal that rust and try to mix up those colors and pour on it again. Or pour, you know, patch this place. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to try to pour the whole thing again. But I'll have to prime it first. So, lesson learned. Always prime steel. So, just wanted to show you what happened. It just broke my heart. It literally just broke my heart when I saw that. I'm like, oh no. It came out so beautiful. And it really did. I mean, this is it dry. You can see all the colors are showing up. That white pearl looks gorgeous. The amethyst in there looks gorgeous. It is just unreal. And then that rust spot. So I just wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. This is how it looks with the beads on it. I think I said they were white. They're not white. They're clear. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I hadn't seen them. They've been packed away for years. <laughs> so... This is how it turned out. I put it on the same lamp that I put the other shade on so that you all could see it. And this is how beautiful it looks. I have some sunlight coming through the window so it really is showing up. All the color and the way it draped and I just absolutely loved this shade. And then that rust spot came through and just broke my heart. So bad. But I just wanted to show you all this. I think the white pearl and the sky color from Target and the amethyst metallic folk art just did such a beautiful job on this. And I will definitely be doing another one, but I will be priming it before I pour. Because I've learned my lesson on this metal. Um, I don't know what that was because I'm sure it was just a little piece of rust on the steel. Aluminum does not rust. So I don't have to worry about aluminum, but I do have to clean it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how this beautiful lamp turned out. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.